Hello. I'll be back here again in conjunction with Tom Hickson to Smithfield and this week's recipe is going to be baby back ribs. We're going to bake them through the oven. I'm going to make a nice apple and fennel slaw from some lovely apples I've got growing in my garden. We're going to make a ranch dressing. We're going to make our own barbecue sauce. Don't worry, you ain't got to keep up because at the end of the video there's going to be full recipes of everything we do today. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it because I love it. It's a particular family favourite of ours. Right, so what we're going to be using here today are these lovely pork ribs, baby back ribs, they're called. They're not actually off of a baby pig. They're the small rib that's joined to the loin. As you can see, they're very nice. I think they're very meaty. Perfect to cut one rib in two. I think that's perfect portion for, for one. So we've got some nice white cabbage here. Some red cabbage. We're going to make a slaw some bunch of carrots. Some nice red onions, red baby onions, some corn, fennel, some nice apples from my garden. So what we're going to do now is make the sauce stroke marinade. So what I'm doing is I've just got a nice warm pan and I'm toasting off my spices. I'll start off with the seeds and then I'll add the powders. This is something I picked up from an Indian guy I work with, an Indian chef. And I think you'll find it really helps to release the aromats in your spices. Make sure you don't burn them or they will become bitter. Just give them a nice little toasting, releasing the flavour. So now our spice are nicely toasted off. We're going to get them in a neutral bullet. We're going to add our apple juice, which I'm going to spill everywhere. I've also added some pork bullion cube, half of one, which you can buy in most supermarkets. The same amount of soy sauce, dark soy. And then I'm going to add my peeled apples and we're going to blend all that down. Now to marinate the ribs. It's better off if you can do this 24 hours in advance or even 48 hours in advance. Believe me, you will see the difference. So get that um, marinade, saving half of it for our sauce and then really massage it in, get that flavour right into them pork ribs. I'm wearing gloves. I think you'll find it is the best way as it is a bit messy. Now for the sauce in this pan, got the vinegar, the sugar, the apple juice, and the marinade coming down. Now I'm gonna add a nice spoon, Dijon mustard. I think that's a great flavor carrier. Goes well with pork. Good spoon of smoked paprika, that's Spanish speciality. A pinch of ancho chilies, more for smokiness than chilliness. Uh, HP sauce and a barbecue sauce, a bought in one mix 50-50 together. Fold all that into your sauce, give it a good stir. Now we're going to add a bit of pork stock, stroke bullion. Just going to let the sauce down. We're going to add that. We're just going to simmer it for 35, 40 minutes. Want a nice thick sauce. If it becomes too thick, just add a drop of water. So now it's time to bake the ribs. So I've got a large tray. I've laid two strips of tin foil one way and one the other. Done exactly the same with silicon paper. We're going to lay our ribs that have been marinating overnight in the fridge into the tray. You want to put your oven on about 130, 120 to 130 degrees. And they're going to take a good three to four hours. Make sure you scrape all of that marinade into that parcel. As you can see, they look lovely. So now wrap it up like you would a Christmas present. It's a really good method. I do this with shoulder and lamb. There's lots of things you can do like this. It's really a good way of keeping all the flavours in. Wrap it up. You can so now the ribs have been in the oven for three and a half hours. I'm just going to unwrap them, make sure they're cooked, come off the bone easy. Then I'm going to pour a bit more of the barbecue sauce on top. And I'm going to rebake them in the oven. Turn the oven up to about 180 degrees and give them another 30 minutes. Now for the ranch sauce. So in this bowl, I've got equal amounts of mayonnaise and Greek yogurt, the thick one. We've also got a spoon of Dijon mustard. I'm now going to add some shimak, which is a Middle Eastern spice, very citrusy. I like it a lot. Also some garlic powder and some onion powder. We're going to finish it with some cracked black pepper, pinch of salt, and maybe a little bit more apple juice, but you don't want it too thin. Keep it nice and thick. Now for the slaw. So I've already cut my red cabbage, my white cabbage, I've got my red onions all cut up. They're just finely sliced. Slice them as thick as you like. I just want to show you how to do the fennel. The fennel 
and the carrots. So what I do is get a peeler and just peel them down like that. Just peel them down. Do exactly the same with the carrots. Well, I, I don't tend to peel the carrots. I just wash them well as I feel that all the flavour and nutrients are in the skin. Just shave them down. Just like that. Now just for the final serve. So if you make sure you, when you take them ribs out of the tray, be really careful because they are delicate and save all that lovely juice at the bottom. If you just fold your ranch dressing through your, your sliced vegetables, add a little bit of salt and pepper. Remember the ribs are available from Tomix and a Smithfield online and all the recipes for today's video are at the end of the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Watch out for next video which is USDA short ribs, slow cooked. Believe me, they're fantastic. So here's the finished product. There's my ribs. I've got some bought in fried onions on top. Lovely, it just breaks away. Lovely and moist. And I've got some corn here. I've just put a chilli butter on top. Very simple to make. Just chilli butter and salt on top of your corn. Great, your parmesan. There's my lovely slaw. And then just to finish, my barbecue sauce. Just to sit and enjoy.